Before we go directly into the problem at hand, we'd like to discuss just how vital resource um, natural water is. Water covers over 75% of the Earth's surface. However, much of this water is unusable. If you consider water in 26 gallons, only 0.8 gallons of that would be fresh water. And accessible water from there would um, dwindle even further to half a teaspoon of fresh water that we could access at any time. This is mainly because much of our fresh water is caught up in um, our ocean systems and in glaciers and other frozen water. Um, here is an example of the hydraulic cycle. Many people don't notice how vital this is and consider it just as another diagram they saw in middle school. However, this is a really important way for nature to purify um, contaminants out of the water system. First, water is condensed, then precipitated, where eventually mountains absorb it, which later on goes into river watersheds. The world's fresh water supply is in trouble. Um, starting now with the background of Lake Tahoe, Lake Tahoe is located in the Chongjiang um, River Delta, or the um, Yanks River Delta. Tahoe means Great Lake because it's one of the largest freshwater lakes in China. Um, it's made up of 117 river tributaries, and it's a source for, of water for China's second most industrialized region, which makes up 11.6% of China's GDP. The pollution and the eutrophication status of Eastern Lake Taihu. Our hy hypothesis is fallen. It is known that wind currents, water temperature, and uh, seasonal variations affect the eutrophication. Additionally, it is also known that the southern area of Taihu Lake tend to experience less eutrophication than northern areas due to less abiotic factors. Furthermore, recent restoration effects by the local government over the past several years may have improved water quality. It is a hypothesis here in. The water samples taken from Eastern Lake Taihu will, be found, will not be found to be eutrophic at the present time, which is late spring. And then down below you see a scale of the degree of eutrophication. Now we see our average um, of total nitrogen is 0.96. That falls in a eutrophic condition. Um, total nitrogen between 0.7 and 1.3 milligrams per liter. Um, and our total phosphorus is also in a eutrophic condition um, with a concentration of 0.07 milligrams per liter. So both of these nutrient levels indicate a eutrophic condition. Oh! oh. My yeah. God! <laughs> the reading today? 12.1 right now, but it's getting, it's changing. 12.08. With the explosion of nutrients have come also an explosion of phytoplankton, an explosion of algae. Here are our main um, dominant species of phytoplankton. We have Gomponema, Gyrosigma, SP, and Gyrosigma. And the important thing to note here is none of these phytoplankton from our east base from our East Taihu Lake site are blue-green algae. So the dominant, um, dominant form of phytoplankton is not algae at this site. So chlorophyll A, which is a key indicator of algal biomass, is um, much smaller than lake values in previous years. So, so this is a good thing. The algae is, is not as abundant as it was before. Okay. Uh, according to the analysis uh, above, we make these conclusions uh, as below. Uh, first, uh, after analysis, the uh, chemical, biological, and physical characteristics of Taihu Lake, it was currently found not to be uh, 
profit during the late spring period. However, nutrient levels are indicative of a, a neutral factor state. 